Hey guys, we have here the RTX 2080 Ti gaming box. This is the world first water cooling external graphics card by Gigabyte. Uh, you know, comparing today, this is, will be like the 2090 nowadays. And uh, this one was the top of the line card for the last gen of RTX. It's uh, supposed to be very quiet, so we're gonna test this and we're gonna see how well water cooling does with mining. It looks like a little PC by the looks of it and has uh, RGB fusion lights below. It's supposed to be connected to, to your laptop to, with Thunderbolt 3. Uh, first thing, we're gonna take a look at the hash rate see, and all the specs. And then uh, we're gonna take a look at the nice hash dashboard and see how well it fares with its big water, the 3090. So here guys, we have uh, the gaming box here, connected by Thunderbolt 3 to this Asus Stuff uh, Dash 15 laptop. And we're gonna take a look at uh, the hash rate here, we're getting 62.21. I'm using here a nice, a nice hash, we're mining uh, Ethereum on this. And if we look at the settings here, we have an extra uh, 1400 megahertz on the memory clock, power limit 100%. The fan speed 38%. The temperature is really down on this, uh, only getting 45 degrees. The VRAM is very low. Also, when I'm looking at Nash Hash, the dashboard. Um, and one thing I want to point out, guys, it's super quiet, this thing, really. Like, I, I can't hear it at all. I have a fan running, you're hearing now the fan, but this thing, like, it's really even at 3%, 88% fan speed. I can't hear this thing, so I really recommend this as a mining device, you know, if you're living in an apartment or in a dorm and, you know, you're using this thing for um, gaming and then your downtime you can mine on this, it's really, it's efficient too, 132 watt, it's just draining. And uh, one thing I want to point out is that this thing here, you can, uh, if you have like a self 13 laptop, you don't need the power connector. I have here the power connector connected because I'm, you the laptop won't, uh, I'm running on the laptop too, and it won't, uh, it won't turn on the turbo settings to uh, increase the core memory clock without the power plug. Uh, but uh, on my on my Stealth 13, I don't need the power on this. And it's, yeah, it's getting uh, amazing, uh, spe amazing speed. I think, it, you know, you're gonna maybe find a hard time getting one of these, like I had to get it off eBay, I had to ship it overseas. But uh, if you can get one and you have a laptop and you know, on once you're not uh, playing games or using it for editing, uh, whatever you do, you can uh, mine on it 24 seven, what I'm doing. And it uh, does an amazing job. So guys here, we're looking at the nice hash dashboard. We're getting a hash rate of 62.67 for the 2080 Ti. The core temp is 50 degrees Celsius, so the VRAM is 63. Uh, so everything's in the green. We're having even a uh, fan of 38%, 134 watts with efficiency of 0 0.46. As you can see here on the profile, we got running extreme settings. So really pushing this car to the limit. And when you compare this, uh, this car to the 3090, you know, look at the 3990, it's having uh, VRAM temp issues. I'm, you know, struggling to keep this card uh, lower than 110. I'm using, uh, you know, my own settings uh, with the afterburner. I'm uh, running the card at 78%. So when you compare this, uh, the 280i, super quiet, super cool, 10 out of 10.